Well, hello Capricorn. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your July 2023 Oracle slash Chakra Energy reading. Yeah. <laughs> So, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So, this reading is intended for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So... Also, Capricorn, I am currently doing personal readings, so if you are interested, then the information is in the description box below. So, let's get, oh, Capricorn, you brought in some thunder with you. So, <laughs> so we are going to be doing the monthly reading where I pull four cards from each of these decks. The Oracle of the Seven Energies and a Chakra Energy Affirmation to accompany the Oracle message. So I will be reading the description out of the Oracle book for the Oracle card. So we will be pulling four cards, one for each week of the month. Yeah, so let's set these cards over here to the side while we get our chakra or our oracle message so I do shuffle the cards before I start the reading however I like to give them a couple shuffles after I start the reading so that I can get everybody's energy in here and through the deck so yeah so there we go. There's that. Split the deck and let's see what is the first oracle message for Capricorn's first week of July. So I do know that I am posting these after the first week of July, but that is on purpose so that you, when you see the oracle Card energy you can see if that energy applied to you and how it applied to you in your first week so that yes you better know how your energies resonate with the cards and the affirmations so yeah and then you have something to look forward to for the next <laughs> three weeks but as I said that these are intended to be timeless if you are a Capricorn and you are watching this anytime after July 2023 then this is simply the energy for your next four weeks so yeah all right so what is the energy for Capricorn's second week of July energy for Capricorn second week of July 2023. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So like both of these are turning over, but okay. So I think it goes week two and week three. Okay. Week two and week three. And what about the energy for week four? Energy for week four for Capricorn for July. So I started doing these readings earlier before the rain came in. And it was nice and sunny when I started. And so I had all this nice, beautiful light, natural light. And these are two cards. And I'm only going to take one. And I'm thinking it's the bottom card. Okay. Yep. It's this bottom card. So, all right. Now, let's get an 
chakra energy affirmation card to go with each week of your oracle card. So yeah, but because the rain came in, I lost all of my natural light, and so I had to substitute it with this fantastic lamp. <laughs> so it looks like I'm doing these when it's dark, but it's really not too, well, I guess it's getting darker, but yeah, so I don't know why or how that's relevant, <laughs> but I was, I felt guided to tell you that, because if you watch my daily readings, you know that all of the time, well, that every day, I'm always doing it with, like, light energy, and even the first couple readings that I did today, they were with just the natural light energy until the clouds started rolling in and then I had all these lighting issues. But yeah. So, okay. Now let's cut the deck and get your affirmation cards to go along with your oracle energy. So, what affirmation will go along with the, okay, there's the first one. Affirmation for the second week. Okay. okay. Affirmation for the third week. Okay, no, that's not flipping. Okay. Okay, there we go. Affirmation for the fourth week. Okay, there we go. All right, so the first week of July, Capricorn, your energies are ooh, opening to discovery. Opening to discovery. That, that's a beautiful card. It's like a keyhole. And it's like a mountain range on the outside, but looking through, it's like there's a tree and another scene, and the key's right here. Key's right there, Scorpio. I mean, Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why it said Scorpio. But your affirmation is from the secondary chakra, Yang, your healing symbol, card number 88. The creative power of the masculine flows to me freely and without obstacles. The creative power of the masculine flows to me freely and without obstacles. Ooh, that's exciting. So, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. So, we have opening to discovery as your first week's energy. And remember that the masculine energy is the energy within us that guides us to taking action. So... Excuse me, card number 34. Opening to discovery. Key concepts. The small bits of data you collect from the world to form ideas, the transfer of vital information via the universe always speaking to you, the need to integrate information and be discerning about you about what you expose yourself to. We tune into information from our outer environment then assign meaning to it within our psyches. Every day, however, the amount of data we sort through exceeds what we're capable of processing. Especially since the advent of the internet, we have been bombarded with more than we could ever hope to absorb. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of what we expose ourselves to. Consistent exposure to unhealthy messaging invites us into a cynical, fear-based worldview. On the other hand, conscious exposure to information supporting our well-being shifts us towards growth and expansion. The choice, though, is not always obviously ours, which is why we must be discerning on a daily basis. The universe is always engaging us. We are part of it, after all. Through synchronicity, omens, and other signs that point toward our best path, our intuition helps us tune in 
to see our environment like an oracle. However, this new information doesn't always make sense right away. So being curious and non-resistant is key to learning. Today, we open, today be open to receiving important information that may come from an unusual source. The universe wants to help you, but recognizing the way this aid will arrive depends on your willingness to shut out superfluous noise. Maybe you need to take a break from social media, gossip, or the news. Don't let yourself get distracted. Listen without attachment and see what arises in your life. Expect a message from the universe and you shall have it. The creative power of the masculine flows to me freely and without obstacles. So as you're opening to discovery, you are being guided to be opening to be open to the creative power of the masculine energy, which like as I said, is the masculine energy is usually the energy that guides us to take action towards something. So taking action of uh, you know, taking a break away from social media or turning off the news or however the however that information resonated for you. So for the second week of July, Capricorn, we have the Oracle's Gift, card number 37. And we have a third chakra, solar plexus chakra blockage. So we are going to get a secondary card with the affirmation that will help to guide you, Capricorn, through this blockage. So what okay there we go there's the affirmation and so the affirmation to help you with your solar plexus chakra blockage is from the first chakra the root chakra and it is i harmoniously live within the natural order of the creation i harmoniously live within the natural order of the creation and so let's see how these two or well, this affirmation applies to your oracle's gift. <clears throat> Number 37. The oracle's gift. Key concepts. Second sight. Clairvoyance. Seeing the future. Fate as a future determined by the choices you make now. Seeing the signs around you. Recognizing potentials versus absolute determinism. When we ask for a sign from the universe, we are essentially asking for divine guidance that we believe needs to come from a source outside of us. This is because we don't always trust our intuition, our ability to read between the lines and see beyond time and space. And so we ask for signs and look for a mystical reassurance that our mundane lives don't seem to offer. However, an oracle simply provides an answer that is already inside us. Oracles show up in myriad ways. Sometimes you see a billboard or hear a song or pull an oracle card and you get the exact message you need to support your choices or show you the way forward. Regardless of how the sign appears, an oracle is a reminder that you are part of this vast universe. You are witnessed by the great mystery and loved and cared for. It's a reminder that life is magical. You are magical. Today, trust in your own capacity to know what is right, to tune into source, and also be able to read the signs reflecting what is true and real within you. Let this oracle give you the gift of knowing that you are indeed on the right track. Repeat the mantra, the light within me creates miracles in my life. The magic is inside you, outside you, all around and within you. I harmoniously live within the natural order of the creation. So this in itself is an amazing message for you to have. And uh, it's perfect. It looks, those two go absolutely perfect together. And that is the second, that is 
the energy for the second week of July. So, okay, give me one sec. I gotta let my dog out of the room so that, yeah, she doesn't keep jumping around. So, give me a second, Capricorn. I will be right back. Hey Capricorn, I apologize. All right, Capricorn, I apologize for that. Yeah, I guess I should have let her out before. But let's get on to your week three energies. So the oracle message for you for this third week of July 2023 is the Rose's Kiss. The Rose's Kiss. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. And your affirmation is from Secondary Chakras Nutrition Responsibility. Check out the healing symbol and see how it resonates for you. I respect my obligations and draw my happiness and fulfillment from what I am. Ooh. I respect my obligations and draw my happiness and fulfillment from what I am. I am so excited. So the Rose's Kiss, this is the first time that I am seeing this card come out for us. So even in like the June messages, I did not see the Rose's Kiss. I don't think, I don't think anybody got it in June. So yeah. So this is the first time that I am seeing it and I'm super excited to read to read about it and to see how your affirmation applies to it. So the roses kiss key concepts joy, experiencing pleasure, deep satisfaction and enjoyment, desires acknowledged, five sensory reality. Take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy. Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with your innate desire to experience all life has to offer? Pleasure is part of life. Let yourself surrender to it today. Our modern times often present a false idea of how, or a false ideal, of how we are meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted, distorted by our over-reliance on technology. Just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at a screen, pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact. Connecting with nature, enjoying the sensual pleasures of sex and or being aware of the sensations of taste, touch, smell, sight, and sound may be important right now. How do you, how do your sheets feel? Can you reach out and feel the heat and softness of your companion animal nestled beside you? Be present to another person, see them, and let yourself be seen. Your five senses are aching to be engaged right now. This is an invitation to get out of your head and into your body. You may be be a spiritual and intelligent being, but right now the emphasis should be on having a sensory experience. This is a sacred part of this gift of life. By being present to the sensual world, you invite an even, even deeper spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it really is time to stop and kiss the roses. Hmm. I respect my obligations and draw my happiness and fulfillment from what I am. So, exactly being called into experiencing exactly what we are 
We are in a physical body to experience physical things, and you, Capricorn, are being guided to that during this third week of July. So, for week four, we have a tall tale. A tall tale. I apologize for all of the background noise, if you are hearing it. Uh, yeah, there are people coming inside being <laughs> very loud. So, yeah. So, number 35, a tall tale. And your affirmation to go along with it is from secondary chakras, elbows, card number 100, I reject with love and consistency. I reject with love and consistency. So, we are being guided to take a look at what it is. Well, actually, let's take a look at what a tall tale says so that we can see how the affirmation applies with that as well. So, we are reading number 35. A tall tale and that has to deal with denial concealing the truth so you can manipulate and control a situation fear-based communication creating a narrative to hide behind not allowing the fear of what others will think to influence your words learning to communicate from a place of authenticity you or someone else is telling a tall tale right now you always know if a falsehood is spoken because it doesn't feel grounded. When you lie, you get high on an illusory sense of power that is doomed to fail at some point. When you feel driven by the fear of exposure, but something makes you stick to your story even though you know it has no substance. Whatever, we, whatever lie we are caught up in isn't as important as the motive for it. Why does anyone lie? Perhaps we don't believe the truth is good enough, or we want to keep doing what we know we shouldn't be doing. Then, there is the lie put forth while in denial, such as hiding an active addiction. In this scenario, we may believe our own lies. The tall tale, the white lie, the stretching of the truth, and the blatant fabrication are all about control. The desire for it, the lack of it, the need to maintain it so we can manipulate the outer world and hide our inner one. Today, ask for the truth. Be willing to pay the price and be okay with the vulnerability your lie is exposing in yourself and others. Transparency is required to get to where you need to go to be truly empowered to reveal the strength of what is true and authentic. Any other path leads to a dead end. Remember the saying, the truth will set you free and get ready to fly unfettered. Hmm. I reject with love and consistency. So whatever it is that is a tall tale in your life, you are being guided to reject it with love and consistency. The best way to get out of a tall tale is to consistently do the opposite of what it is that you are being pulled into. So, however it applies to you within your own personal journey, Capricorn, you will know. So, this, Capricorn, is your July 2023 Oracle slash Chakra Energy reading. So... As I mentioned before, I am doing personal readings. If you are interested, then the information is in the description box below. Otherwise, if you resonated or found something that you resonate with in this reading, Capricorn, please remember to hit the like button or the thumbs up, whatever it's called these days, <laughs> as you exit the video. And I want to thank you so very much for being here. I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.